Now, a transgender charity runner has run marathons as a man, as a woman, and as a non-binary person too. And after running in the non-binary division in the Boston Marathon, Glenique France, Frank has finished all six world major marathons, raising around £36,000 for charity. Quite a feat. Well, we're delighted to say that she joins us now. Glenique, thank you so much for coming into the studio uh, and, and meeting with us today, because uh, as far as I understand it, you've got perhaps a problem with the way in which marathons and, and, and sports sort of... It's not quite all settled yet. It's a bit confusing for lots of people. Yeah, it is. I think it's just, um, again, an awareness. And what happened to me last year was quite uh, brutal, the abuse and threats I got for entering in, under a simple category because when I enter any race or a even a job application under gender orientation, there's only limited categories, so male, female, non-binary or other. No offence to non-binary and other. I don't want to be called other. I know who I am. I'm a transgender woman. And that's the whole thing with any sport now, any uh, applications. There's no tick box. I don't want to categorise people in that category and, and highlight because I got abused for that as well. Mm. Just how I know you're putting us in categories. No, it's just that when I enter a race, you know, I'm a sports person, I'm a personal trainer, and I do uh, doing it for Wiz Kids this year again. And the thing is, I just entered under women because I know I'm going to be a transgender woman. And um, the athlete that called me out, it, it's her, you know, it was her, when she saw my interview, you know, she could have just phoned me personally because it's all about then, oh, I cheated, you know, 14,000 other women out of a better position. I'm a charity run. I came 6,000 63rd or whatever it is. And I felt quite bad and it did affect my mental health. But luckily I'm a strong person. I've done a lot of marathons and I've done a lot of things. So I just want to call for when you um, enter a race, mm. uh, the categories are just simple as an LGBT, maybe. Mm. And that covers everybody because now there's a lot of people out there that don't want to be called Mr. or Mrs., which is great. But then in elite sport, this is where the grey area is. So th the other thing is, I hear Mara Yamanuchi, what you're saying, and I apologised on GB News last year mm. um, to the shot put who came on. But the thing is, in elite sport, then it's quite simple because I think the World Paralympics has just announced that they're transgender category. So, so you want that other option so the you other, don't have to apply... I'm going to say there's, no, there's two, um, say, divisions. So the non-athletes, so the masses, they want to know. There's a lot of people out there that are shy, that haven't got a voice, that are scared to speak up. The LGBT community, even heterosexual, straight people, whatever. They're too scared to say anything because they don't want to get hated on. So when I speak up and I see there's a, there's a, there's a problem in this, you know, it's not fair, there's equality and diversity, but I say, what about inclusivity? The CEO of London, you know, phoned me personally in Chicago and Boston, backed me um, because, you know, it was quite cruel what they did. And I'm scared to run on Sunday. Mm. And I'm, I'm even which announcing... Which category will you be competing in? Well, unfortunately, America? to keep the peace, which is, this is, the, this is my, another issue. Why am I getting uh, another human to say, it's OK, you're non-binary this year. Oh, that's fine. You, you're all right now. So you're, you're, not you cause, running, you're not going to cause trouble. Because I don't mm. want to... Uh, me, Glenique, uh, this is the way I am. I don't want bad karma. I didn't want to enter under women again because I didn't want the... Um, Agro, but I should have entered under the women category. I'm not other, and I'm not non-binary. Do you feel when you so you've you've raced against men and also against women? Humans. Do you do yeah. you feel that that obviously the argument is that men, biological men, have a bio, have a have a biological advantage over I women? I knew you were going to say that. Do you feel that it is? more fair for you to race against men or whether you have an edge when you compete against women? This is the thing. Women. With elite sport, now there's two divisions. Uh, puberty and all and, and that. In has, elite sport, for let example. Let me tell you now, the, the elite winner in Chicago, the woman, I think it was Hassan, she, she beat half the elite men. So check her testosterone levels. Mine are probably lower than yours because you have T blockers and when you go on hormone replacement, it does change your libido and changes your arm um, weaker now. I'm not competing against a woman because I'm strong as a man because my friend in South Africa can lift 50 kilogram barbell curls. But it's bone size, isn't it? Because if you've been through male okay. puberty, if I yeah. were to race you, yeah. no matter how much I trained, you'd probably you, win. Because well, on, 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 on Sunday's Boston, I did five hours and my friend, who's a girl, did it with a broken foot and she did four and a half hours. 
Mm. It's, I, I'm telling you now, I'm a personal trainer, it's got nothing to do with that. But in elite sport, because there's money involved and public interest, then yes, I agree with, unfortunately, the, the transgender athletes that have just competed. Because mm -hmm. Serena Williams also didn't want to compete against her. Because it's not official yet. And that's what the whole thing is. So we need to have an elite sport. If I'm racing in an elite, in, in a, 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 you're an elite woman and I'm an elite transgender woman, you still win your accolade and your prize money. Mm -hmm. I'm not racing against you. Mm. So would you be then in favour of having, in both elite sports and for amateurs, having a separate category for transgender it, runners? Just four categories. Biological man, biological female, transgender man, transgender female. Because mm -hmm. I'm changing my sex, whereas non-binary and sexual mm -hmm. orientation, you're not changing your sex. So let me ask you, if you were to... So you said it earlier when I said biological mm. man, biological mm. female, you said human. Why would you still have the difference between transgender man and transgender female? This There's the, no biological difference. Yeah, this is the thing in elite sport when it comes to money. It's all about public interest again and, and, the, and the men's game as against the female game. And there's always... Again, there's this gender divide between male and female biological even mm. because mm. look at the women's football. You know, look at um, any... any say, blacksmithing. You know, I watch, I watch Art Britain and there's, you know, people on there that, oh, I'm in a female-dominated world. No, you're in the human world. Mm. You know? Glenique, you... Sport you, is you've different. Spoken, you've spoken about the backlash that you got from people when yeah. you ran, ran in the yeah. female category in a marathon. Um, I wonder, have you had backlash from other transgender people now that you've said perhaps there should be a separate yeah. third category? Well, in, after London, when I said oh, it, they missed, mistook what I was saying about categories as in the tick box, mm. not categorising into a pen, oh, there's all, the, there's all the weird people, maybe, or there's all the heterosexual people, or there's all the... No, just a tick box to keep mm. the peace because I entered under women. It's almost like you've come other. under attack from oh, both yeah. sort of uh, gender critical activists but yeah. also trans activists. But I want to be the well. voice for transgender people and queer people and LGBT and straight people because I've got clients that I have got body dysmorphia. I've got dysphoria, which I see ugly every morning. Mm. Do you think that there would be support broadly amongst transgender um, well, hope, athletes and sports people? Yeah, I hope people? so, because, yeah. Because so in favour of having a separate trans category? To, because I know that, again, and there was another news company that... Uh, journalists from around the world were phoning me, by the way. Mm. Canada, Australia, you talk around the world. And they said, do you have to give your medal and your prize money back? I didn't win. Mm. You know what I mean? What's and the I, I apologise. You've this, brought in today? This is the six mar major marathons around the world. Under my own esteem, under my, I earn my living and I paid. Mm -hmm. Then I'm raising money for charity at can the same time. you just hold time. it up for the camera again so we can all see that? That's uh, this is six the main major one. marathons. <laughs> so, yeah. And I've done 28 marathons around the world. Wow. Because I want to spread the rainbow. Mm. This is what it's all about. Well, Glenique, we really appreciate no you worries. coming in. Thank you for Thank you. putting your case across. I think it will be very interesting for a lot of people hearing that idea for an extra category. Is that something that could perhaps be a more, a more unifying thing in this very divisive debate? Uh, get in touch, gbnews.com forward slash your views, your, forward slash your say, your say. <laughs>